And did I just had to let that play, man. I ain't gonna play no games. I'm gonna go ahead and bring them in one at a time, man, to the left of me. Go around the circle, let them know who in here right now. What's good? It's your boy Retro Case. You ain't know now, you know. Okay, now, now who after that? Yo, yo, it's B, Decepticons, all day, every day. Yeah. Okay, and after him? Mr. Brown, a.k.a. Human Drum Machine. Okay, Human Drum Machine. Hey, yeah, he thought I was going to let him get out the room. He just walked out of here, and now he turning right back around because he got to get him a chair. Hey, go ahead, swing that mic to him because he, he he said he wasn't going to say nothing, but he got to say something here because he like, oh, man, it's sounding kind of live in here. What's going on, man? Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, P. Lotus. It's your P. Lotus, man. And the show we talking about is live from last night, W-E-L-T 95.7. W-E-L-T, which stands for We Encourage Local Talent. All right, man, radio, 10 o'clock in the a.m. is when it's kicking off. We're in the first two minutes. Anybody know what Live From Last Night is? Do y'all know what this show is? No, let me know. Let you know what Live From Last Night is. Live From Last Night got a comedic effect. It, it get with somebody who was a correspondent at something that was going on. You know, we talk to somebody who was at an event. We get that information instead of bringing everybody in here. We give opinions. I do a lot of research. It's a little spin of that. We mix some music in there and we got somewhat of a structure. We got some sections. We don't stay there too long and we don't have to play the music. The reason we don't is because local artists do not hear me when I say, bring that radio edited version to me. You know what I mean? They always say, hey, look me up, edit it for me. Y'all need to go into y'all studios to y'all producers and say, all right, do the one, do the, do the, do the one for the streets and then do the one for the studio. You know what I'm saying? So if they do that, then we'll turn this radio station into the other radio stations that exist. So it's just a mix of all that, bringing it to them one time for the one time, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all, and I don't like doing like, uh, uh, giving you a hint. I don't try to knock anybody off guard or, or hit you with some question that you can't answer. You'd be ashamed if your mama hear it or anything like that. <laughs> but I do try to get like that live first round effect. You know what I'm saying? So the first thing I like to do is call lit from last night. All right, man. It's live from last night, but I need you to go to the last night where it was lit. That could have been the Tuesday. Maybe you make it go up on the Tuesday. I don't know. What was the last night this week that was lit for you? Starting with retro. And why was it lit? Let me know. I'm gonna say it was lit <clears throat> for me uh, last night. I made three beats in one hour, and they all were bangers. Okay, yeah. Just what, focused on the craft, man. What was the uh, what was the energy behind that? What made you get on that? I found out that uh, the sex of my baby that's on the way. So oh, that, that kind of put a little, okay. a little spark in me, you know. Me like, hey. all, right. all right, that's cool. That's cool. What y'all have y'all done a gender reveal? Y'all haven't no. done that for the public. No. Y'all got any ideas behind that? We not gonna do a gender reveal. We oh. just gonna tell yeah. the people that's that we know that's gonna be there. There's okay. no need to to the world, you know. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, the people yeah. that's around know what it is and what it ain't. Boom, the the exclusive, the exclusivity, you know, mm -hmm. and y'all being traditional with it. Okay, moving on to my man, Decepticons. Man, tell me what was the last lit night you had and why was it lit though? Man, what made it lit? This week, this week. Ooh. You know your life like that. You stay in Vegas. Stop playing with me. <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> okay. yeah, that, that, that was about to say. I've been in Fort Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Working on a project. Okay. So. Huh. So I've been working, uh -huh. and um, I'm about to. I'm, I'm leaving out of Fort Wayne today, so it was fun. Okay. <laughs> and, um, but it's the litest night I had litest. here. I like that. Litest. At home was actually I was driving mm -hmm. like in the park, and okay. it was like you know how it's been getting dark. Like at what time? Like five thirty six. <laughs> Five thirty six. <laughs> right, right so about latest, now. So the latest night I had is I was driving to one park by Coliseum, like by like the um the Coliseum Stadium. Yeah, I ain't showing my age by this. I just want you to give me the night. But go All ahead. Right. Yeah, so you know I was driving <laughs> and you know I pulled up and it's like it's a little like river, like dock. So I pulled up right there uh -huh. by, by myself, nobody. Most left. And I stopped. Okay. Then I'm just sitting here meditating because I gotta go back to the studio. Mm -hmm. And it was so peaceful and calm. But hmm. I was like and they're like, man, this is dope. Like, cause you know, I have to find the most litest place in Fort Wayne. Sure. I know none of my homies from the South Side probably don't know where this spot at. Okay. So I was like, this is lit. I'm chilling. Then here come the police. Oh man, just messed it up. After dark, you, you know. gotta get out or whatever. Wow. So it was lit because I'm like, man, let me turn on my live real quick. Okay. Cause I don't know where it's gonna yeah, go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they gotta see what's happening. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Smooth, smooth. All right. So it was lit because you found a new spot. I don't know what Betty you gonna take over there. 
I ain't putting you out. Oh, no, I don't know what's going on. This is a disclaimer. I don't know what's going on in this life. Don't have nobody call up here on me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, you what you mean? You good. Who we going to take? You understand? Uh, we all want to smoke. You uh, know what I mean? Uh, look, look. Uh, you 100% good. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. So, my man hey, yo, 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 give me that lit night. Give me the night. Like my man singing in here. I did not know this dude sung this, whoever this was. I totally thought this was something else. But go ahead. For real? Yeah. yeah. But, but I know you musically inclined, so you, you might check me. I don't want to smoke. No, I'm not saying <laughs> she wants no smoke on that. Okay, okay, okay. First off, I'm going to put you on blast before we even get there. Let's do that. I'm with it. Youngster, this young man right here, uh -huh. this young brother right here, this family member, I used to own a juice bar inside of a teenage dance club uh -huh. and gave this young man a chance to earn a little change in his pocket. Absolutely. And they used to go to dance contests yeah. and tear it up. So for you to be right here, yeah. I'm proud of you. That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's I what appreciate that's that, first, man. Right and I'm sorry about the phone ringing. We just left the studio. I just hey. told this artist we going to the radio station. Let them know it's live. Y'all heard it in here. The phone's ringing and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna turn mine on right hey, now, man. man. See, I that's got what I'm talking about. Hey, we might want that. Y'all might have to answer a call. I might, no, I'm not gonna. I might, be, I might be quiet. You know. What so I'm saying? what was the question again? <laughs> the question was, what was the last lit night this week? You know what I'm saying? Give me the night. Oh, that it has to be lit. this week. It has to be this week. You know what I'm saying? Say, Cause, I mean, because my last lit night, re, 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 a mega lit. Okay. Because that, that's lit as you can get. like Mega, mega lit. Mega lit. You know For what certain. I'm saying? You right. know what I mean? I'm with that. My last mega lit night was probably a week ago, actually. Okay. A uh, week to the date. Yeah, pretty much. Because right. I found out some good news. But yeah. Okay. And you just... And We'll just keep it right there. No, no, no. Well, I, I'll bust it out. I'll okay. Because you, okay, you're, okay. you're, trying, you're trying to squeeze it on. No, no. I'm just saying. If it's you, if you, 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 <laughs> you ain't got a lot of kids. Come on now. I've been if knowing you, you care a long share. time. If you care to share. There you go. Yeah. I got nominated for an Emmy, dude. That's when I'm talking. Come on, yeah. man. Now, that's, that's, that's lit. Yeah, yeah. That's so lit. I just found out like, a week ago today. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty sto that. stoked about that. But my last lit night of the week was last night. That's cool. We in the lab cooking up a nice beat. and um I played um, I played all the parts by hand on, on so for the production, so it, it's still yeah. still trappy esque. But yeah, yeah, it's all all, all acoustic. Come on, Emmy nomination! Mm -hmm. You going crazy with the beats? He going crazy with the beats? He done found that chill spot. I'm ready for it, man. <laughs> Come on, spot. that's how I go. Yeah. I, I'm ready yeah. for it because he said it was real yeah, dope. Yeah, man. He he said some water was in there and everything. It sounded like all the elements. All the elements for a nice time. You feel what I'm talking about? Come on, WGLT 95.7. We live with some stars in here, man. They letting us know a little bit of their life, man. So, um, life from last year. That's the next section. You know what I mean? It's a little motivational. You know what I mean? Is it better for y'all this year than it was last year? We're going to go in a different order. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, let me go with Brad first. Let me go with okay. the concert. Hold on. Go, go with Will. Now, yeah, he said, yeah, let me go. <laughs> Will, if I could go, yeah, right back to you. This don't have to be real deep with anything like that. But I'm almost guessing that an Emmy nomination is way better. Where were you at in this pocket last year? We talking about first week. What is the second week of January? Second week of January. Where was you at this time last year? This time last year, I was still pissed about not going on tour the previous the year before that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking about, uh, yeah, seriously. seriously. He said, uh, I'm just, I'm just, now, I'm like keeping 1,000. 1 million. 1 million. One million. <laughs> you feel me? Million, it's like but. aluminium. You know, it's not aluminum, but aluminium. <laughs> aluminium. Be proper with it. Yeah. But, uh, no, but the deal is, is, um, a year ago, we started, we started something working with artists and we had a plan mm -hmm. to execute. And one year later, we got, um, one artist got her album out, and two artists. Um, this is from Grooming. Four art. Four, four, four artists got an album out. Oh, yeah, you got it out. Yeah, four. Well, I see. I only know what came on one. But uh, four artists cool. got an album out, uh -huh. and we did the production on ninety percent. Some of it, under all of it, mm -hmm. you know, and collabed and got everything going. So it took a year of grooming. Okay. It's not just getting the production down. It's actually getting them ready. To perform. To, to perform. You, you know what time it is. Absolutely. You, you, absolutely. You, you gotta go with the choreography. It's like I ain't never seen you before. You're part of my crew too. <laughs> absolutely. I, so, I, I gotta act like I'm a, a fly on the wall, but I definitely can you draw. You what front. you talking about? I got to. You I got to front a little bit. You ain't got you a lot of kids. Hey, this, this <laughs> is not real polo. You know <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not. It's the same. But yeah, man, it was, a good, it was a good year. And um, we, we, it's sticking to a plan, mm -hmm. coming up with a plan, sticking to it and watching it grow and nurture a year later sit back and reflect is a good thing good thing okay it's a real good thing. so boom it was a, it, you said it was kind of whatever but the improvement made it yeah well, what it is today what that's what you, we got to do exactly what yeah, you gonna do keep yeah. 
You gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Right. That's what he said. Uh, James Brown said that if you if you're not moving, if you're not growing, you're dead. You know. Right. Did that. that. That's the hardest yeah. working man ever. In ever. Show you know what I mean? I seen that one man glide. That one foot glide this week. I didn't think it was that serious. I seen Ooh. him do it all the way to the back of the stage right, video. Yeah. I said, oh, he's the truth. Yeah, you know what I'm true. saying? He's the truth. Um, retro, in case you ain't know, uh, last year compared to this year, what, what the improvement? Give me something of inspiration right now. What was it? I feel like, I ain't even gonna lie, last year was trash to me. It was trash. It was. That's a, that's a strong was. statement. Somebody say something was trash. It was straight trash. Mm, okay. I'm gonna just be honest. Okay. But the way this year is starting off, it's, it's a lot better. It's a lot it's better. It's way a lot better. Okay, what brought you to the piece that said, hey, you know what? I can't do... I, I think that was one of my New Year's resolutions. Take the biggest failure last year and then make the vows never to make that happen again. So what were some of the things that made you say, we are not going to do this trash last year and you made this year better than that? What were some of the things you did or one of the things? The biggest thing was separating myself from negative energy that was holding me back. That's okay. the biggest thing I had to do. I, I had to learn. I, yeah, yeah, well, I, totally that. I made the talk. mistake of thinking... It was yeah. good for me, but in reality, it's bad it's for bad. me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody think that's so cliche, but it's really not. It'd be hard to cut people off. You know what I mean? And now that the busiest man in show business is done, you know what I mean? Because he's the only one getting calls. His, call, his phone going off. He answering the phone. He's like, go go to somebody else. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> you said go to somebody else. Go to somebody else. else. I'm doing God, something right now. No, I, was, I, I was Pete Diddy with it, too. Yeah, yeah. He was like, I like, go to somebody else. I know you asked me that, but check it. Go to him real quick. But what's up? Uh, last year. Last year. Compared so, to this year. Yeah, so last year, um, actually, I came here to um, work with Will and the whole setup he was talking about. Mm -hmm. So in the dead time of me coming back and forth, um, it was more of a setup year mm -hmm. and to put everything in position for this year. True so I wouldn't even say like the year was more so like, you know, it was better than last year okay. because everything what we was doing and just the whole focus and with like you know mm -hmm. like far as just with the marketing plans and just setting it up for this year because of covid because how the world was right it was like we was like all right cool 2020 we know what it is it's the test year mm -hmm. so we're gonna sit back watch everybody else analytics analytics watch mm -hmm. everybody else how many shows they do and see when winter come when fall and winter come What's, see how see how COVID go, yeah. And when we come out of it, we're gonna be prepared. So now, um, this year, not only we got plans for how COVID could shut down and how we can make money off of um, live streaming and the metaverse and all that, mm -hmm. we also got you know Plan A is also the live shows and stuff because that's how we make our money. Absolutely. So so that's what I would say. Last year was more of the plan year. And this year, um, you know, thanks to the most high, we mm -hmm. got some amazing things that's going to unfold. They said that they said that's a saying. They say you what they say you 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 plan in your mind first. I forgot how it go. But it's basically like you start the war in your mind, then you go to battle. You win the war in your mind, then right. go to battle. That's that's on that Sun Tzu level. Sun Tzu, see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That that that, that I do a lot of that. Not Sun saying Tzu, say, Sun Tzu. Battles, yeah. The battle is won before you fire a bullet, or before you send an arrow. Send an arrow. You yeah, you, you got to already strategize. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so that's what you was doing last year. Yep. Basically yeah. setting the strategy yeah. up. And it's all chess, man. man. That's what man. You sit next to it. Emmy nomination, man. That is that uh, is big, man. Yeah. I, 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 even when you wave it off, okay. Man, listen, I'm gonna keep it straight hundred. I what's that? Never expected that to be the one, but the one is, that actually did it. Yeah, but it it, it is what it is. It is, and what I, it is. I, you know, I, I did play on it. I did my job. I right. wrote my part. You know, you don't get to choose. Did well, you I was just lucky to be with the artist of the year. Is one of my bandmates that was from Arts United, and okay. that's that's the song we did it for. So. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, man, you, Derek Reeves, say his name. You can't say all that about his name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the gotta day. wait for him to ask. Oh, yeah, yeah, I definitely want to know. Thank you. I'm, I'm with it. I'm you sorry, know what I'm saying? Man, yeah, the suspense he was building. Suspense. I was trying to. I mean, it, it didn't work. I was it like, did. It did. No, but that's it my like, brother. That's your brother. That's, yeah. my, that's my brother. I call our nickname on the Man of Steel. Okay. Real talk. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I call him, man, because he's the real deal. And he's a violinist. He's the principal viola player for the Philharmonic, one of the number one solo soloists in the country on the violin. Um, serious business, man. He's a, he's a real real deal, you know. 
All right. So yeah. I'm on my um, I'm on my Kevin. I'm on my Kevin Hart. Y'all already paid for this because the way my way my account set up. You know what I mean? Cause I got two stars in there. I ain't know all this is coming. I just man, came got to the show. Stars, bro. Yeah, you know, I've done a whole lot. You know what I mean? You, it's, it's everybody. It's both. Man, he live oh, over there. He, 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 he just chill. He, 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 like, he being real the humble. The mastermind behind everything. He being real humble. He's cat since back in the day. Give me some of that. Man. Yeah, see, that's what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah. Pounds up in here. Proud of you on your seat, man. That's yeah, what's up. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Uh, last year for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let y'all listen to a small clip or something, you know, and then I'm going to get into why this was important. You know what I mean? But the bittersweet part about that is, uh, of course, y'all done drew that that was my grandmother. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, she was, yeah, uh, yeah. She was uh, yeah. one of the last moments that I talked to her. She was telling me how she had even ended up in Fort Wayne. So exactly a year ago is when she transitioned. I had to say goodbye to her and everything yeah. else, you know what I'm saying? And I was just glad that I had the mind, uh, higher power, put it in me to go have a conversation with her. Right, you, know right. you, got, that, you got that documented though. Man. Yeah, that, that's you, where, see, you see where it's at. It's, that's real, it's, that's, yeah, that's yeah, heavy. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I listened to it and, and just for her to know, that, to be honest, she didn't even, uh, she was, her memory was fleeting. I think that's part of the reason why she left. Right. And um, she was actually going to Detroit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She thought it was Atlanta, but it was actually Detroit. Now, the part of the story about Stud leaving, you know what I'm saying, saying he was going to get his laundry, is how she ended up staying here, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I really wanted to know, like, well, how did I get the Fort Wayne and everything right. else? So I was able to have that conversation with her. That's weird. You know, so what we're going to do, uh, uh, the streets around here, you know what I mean? If it was one person, I feel like in my family, that deserve a boulevard or a street or anything else. Me and my bro starting today, January 14th, Friday, are gonna start the campaign to get the evangelist Dorothy M. Nichols, her boulevard, her street, you know what I mean? You get, should work for her, it, man, that's real deal. Yeah, she, she done put too much, we talking community and ministries of Fort Wayne, we talking Future Foundation, we talking any youth choir, anybody that knows in the church sector who uh, evangelist Dorothy is. So uh, last year, that's life from last year, you know what I mean, it's bittersweet. We not down about it. Everybody sharing good news, and it's good. Like you said, I was able to document that, and that's gonna start the motivation for us to do something, and it's gonna be even better next year. You understand me? All right. Mm -hmm. So moving on, text from last night. Anybody got any text from last night that came in their phone and everything else? You ain't gotta go to them for real. What we gonna do is, have we met any celebrities? I don't think I've met like a real celebrity. But you know what I'm saying? The the next pocket I'm gonna get into, they're talking about celebrities that people have met in real life and now they can't stand them. Is there any <laughs> <laughs> Is there anybody that y'all have like met like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody else thinks they're the dopest thing, best thing since sliced bread, coolest thing since shoestrings. But y'all kinda like I mean, have y'all ever been in that place where y'all like, I really know that guy and he's not as cool as y'all making him right now? Is there anybody that y'all feel like? I know for me, there's nobody. You know what I'm saying? But is there anybody? And it doesn't have to be actual, like, famous. It could be somebody locally. And you know what I mean? If you don't want, you don't have to put their name out. You don't have to put their name out. You don't have to put their name out. Put their name out. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not local. I mean, dude, my family history, I've been around it for a long time. So I've seen a plenty of, yeah. <laughs> he just said plenty like of... That. Yeah, I'm gonna just cut it off right yeah. there. You just, okay. You know, I was right. born in this in this situation, so I got to see some dudes at that that super high level. I mm. met some dope ones. Don't get me wrong. Right, bunch of dope. But, but you met some that was kind of like yeah, well, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, it happens. without a doubt. I mean, there's there's no denying it. I can't I can't even keep it straight face. <laughs> okay, so without putting yeah. it, without putting a name on it or anything, because I don't want you to put a name on it. Right, as no. hard as that is to believe. Is, what was something that they did, he or she did, that made you just say, you know what, I, I kind of don't like you anymore. You know what I'm saying? Or I don't like the way you're moving right now. I was, at, all right, I was at an event. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was at an event and this person, uh, how do I say it nicely? Mm. Yeah, like that. Yep. Was so arrogant. Mm, the that, I mean, mm. it was, and, and I understand, I understand when you've been in in in, in the business since the uh, since the sixties. Okay. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. And you should you should be at a level of humbleness, or or either you you shouldn't feel like you're an elite. Mm. But when when someone's setting up your gear, okay, which I was helping a friend, helping my sound man do do something when someone was setting up your gear, and you up and down look them. Mm. And then you have them people close the curtains on you. Yeah. 
I, I still want to bust around. Yeah. But I can't. I, can't. I, 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 I was just about it. to say, what's her name? No, but. Hey, listen. Let me make this. Let me make this small because we got something else. You gonna bleed it? No, 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 no. This is what we gonna do. We got this thing coming up. Me and we was actually shooting some footage for it. It's called mm -hmm. Live from '95, right? It's gonna be a section in this show, but it's also gonna be this podcast where you know what you had to get out in the beginning. You don't have to get that out. We just gonna sit here talk for about 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And it's gonna be only. They can only hear that at certain places, you know what I'm saying? Right. right. So, okay. so I mean, because this right, right here, we can revisit we, we, this. Yeah, we okay. don't. So you, don't so y'all gotta go to what is it, Live ninety five? It's called Live from ninety five. To hear who he talking. To about. hear who he talking about. That's the only way you go yeah, get it. That is the only way. That's the only way you go get it. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I was ready. To <laughs> like, like you said, drop it right now. <laughs> no, Live from ninety five. Okay. We gonna get into that because right. you know what I'm saying it's raw. You know, yeah, I'm gonna hold it back because it's a couple of them. He says, he said you might get more than what you bargained for. You know what I'm saying? All right, so um, Zoe Kravitz, y'all know who that is? Um, so is that is that Lenny Kravitz and uh, Lisa Bonet daughter? Like, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Zoe. Okay, Zoe Kravitz. Uh, somebody said her, her name is Petra, not Petro. Petra, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Petra Orla said she worked in the shop that Zoe Kravitz came into, and she was snotty and pretentious. Now I don't have no problem saying. Does anybody know what pretentious means? Anybody in here? I'm not putting nobody on blast because I don't know. I can say that first. Pretentious. Uh, she says snotty and pretentious. I think it might be like I want this right here, that right there, a little mm -hmm. bit. You know, like real. Okay, break it down. Like, yeah. Picky. I'm with that. Picky. Innocent. Yeah. Innocent. Okay. Okay. I can go with that. Yeah. Uh, that. Shaq. What do y'all think y'all wouldn't like about Shaq? Somebody says Shaquille O'Neal. This next one we got up here. Um. I got a wonderful story about Shaq, mm -hmm. so I'm cool. You cool? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got, I'm sorry, business. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, yeah, they, they hate them. They must have called him on a bad day or something. You are a bad a person bad talking baby. about Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq. Hey, we could have skipped that because she got like a lot to say. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. She see. said, I'm, I'm, I'm peed off Shaq one time when I was 18 and working at Target off I-95 back in like 2009 to 2010. He was looking for a cord to go from his phone to a TV in his tour bus. We unfortunately did not have one and he got peed off. That's Being nice. only a five, six dude, I was terrified. His friend security guard, he had with him to calm him down. Me and a few other associate, associates started calling every store around us to find one for him. He called me Big Dave before I peed him off and was too afraid to ask him for a picture or autograph after that. I hated him for the longest time. I don't hate him anymore, but still not a huge fan. I still want an apology from him. Okay. okay. <laughs> Good luck with that. Brixie, yeah. 019. Brixie. I'm going to just leave that there. You know what I'm saying? Right. You already talked about how he's small in stature. Brixie. I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there. All right, we got to talk one more. One more. Um, I don't even know who. Who is Paul Walker? Who is that? He Paul, was, Paul oh, Walker, yeah. the dude that from Fast, from Fast, Fast, Fast and Furious, yeah, 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 he's yeah. passed on. Yeah. Yes, I don't yes. say nothing about him. No, yeah. don't do that. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, I'm gonna keep it straight, hundred. I don't even believe that one, man. Yeah, before I even heard it. Yeah, before you even, it I ain't never heard nothing bad. Actually, about it was mad offensive. What they said was mad offensive. Yeah, so I've never heard bad. I've never heard bad. Nothing bad about that dude. That's man. That's bad. man, Paul. Okay, so R.I.P. Bro. So this one, real talk. Okay, I gotta get. What do y'all want to hear? And this is it. Kevin Hart or Will Smith? Kevin Hart. You want to hear the Kevin Hart one? Okay, Kevin Hart. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. The I mean, but then Will Smith got a lot of like weird stickers too. I yeah. almost gotta get yeah. Will. I almost don't want to get on Will Trail because Jada is enough. Yeah. Jada is doing. Ooh, him. She yeah. is dragging she him. All the secrets. Yeah. 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 Uh, I say this all the time. I gotta say it before we get into the Kevin Hart piece. Jada said, "Don't let your husband stop you from finding your dream guy." <laughs> Wait a minute. What? He Wait said, don't let minute. your husband. Yeah, don't let your husband oh, stop. Hold on, you. can we do that, Tony? Right. Yeah. What's the deal? <laughs> don't let your husband stop you from finding the guy of your dream. So that, that so you didn't marry to do with your dream? Listen to me. Okay, we got now we gotta take a sidebar. <laughs> it was a business contract. Yeah, we got it all. This is where she this is where <laughs> she would be done at. This is what Will, you you you'll probably never hear this. But if you ever do, listen to me. There is a documentary. Tupac, Resurrection, okay? And we all know what it was with Jada and Tupac, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. They are dancing off of parents just don't understand by Will Smith while they were attending Juilliard together. Tupac and Jada was dancing off Will Smith's song yeah. when she was a teenager. Yeah. There is no way 
you're going to be talking crazy to me. You understand me? You was lip singing my song before you ever met me. Now you can look at that like, dang, she got a dude that she was actually dance to, achievement of hers. But there is no way you're running around here making me feel any kind of way when it's documented that she was vibing to me. I was already on. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a Houston moment. You know what I'm saying? We got a problem. We got a problem. Got a what are you problem, talking about? This is problem, this yeah. what you out here saying? So, um, on to the Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, not only is he not funny, and most of his comedy is just being loud, but he cheated on his wife while she was pregnant with his child. He's obnoxious as S, and I don't get why people like him. Uh, if the Rona hadn't come. That's their name, if the Rona hadn't come. I will say this. Yes. I guess it's like for like every artist. Mm -hmm. Kevin Hart got 50 million fans that love him Absolutely. and probably like 10 million that hate him. They hate him. So we just heard one of the 10 million. 10 million that yeah. know of him. You 10 million, yeah. you know me. My name just got said because you just said my name again right, while right. not liking me. You right. know what I'm saying? And that's free, free clout. That's free clout. Thank yeah. you. You know what I mean? So that's cool. Text from last night. They always got some. That's ruined my week. You know what I mean? Word out to them. They always bring something in here. They got like a lot of stuff they post like it's an entertainment website, but yeah, mm -hmm. kind of fits into the, the gnome or, right. or the name or whatever. So we got another section. We're getting right to it. We're speeding through this. You know what I'm saying? We almost had 30 minutes past the hour. Uh, last 48. Y'all know what the first 48 is. First 48, right. we're going to figure out what's going on in this murder. I want to flip it. We don't want to talk about death. We want to talk about last 48. In the last two days, what's been the biggest news y'all seen? Y'all don't have to tell me. I want y'all to identify if y'all heard about this. I'm going to say three letters, and y'all tell me if y'all heard the news about them. Okay? All right. BMF. Have y'all heard that? Last 48, last two days, there's been some of the biggest news. If you've been on your phone, Google, it should have popped up. Have you heard about this? We got Black Mafia family? Black Mafia family, boom. Yeah. But there's somebody uh, that's um, um, involved with that show. They got some real live uh, messed up news going on about them. It's a little Meech. It's a little Meech. Yeah. Yeah. I, I seen his pictures, but you I seen, ain't read You it. ain't ever seen what it meant. Yep, mm -hmm. I, ain't, I just seen the pictures. Okay. Yeah, same here. So reports have it. All right. Reports have it that uh, a young female has said that um, Lil Meech was running around the club smelling like a pound of onions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the biggest news. But, no, but you know what? For him, that that's great. Great news. I thought you was about to say he got caught with, you know, like his, you know, the I fam. Don't, I, don't I thought you about to say he got, when he said pounds or anything, I thought like, ah, like, bro, why are you doing it? No, you ain't have to do that. Man. You know what I'm saying? He got caught with the pounds. But I'm saying, though, I don't know if that's a good look. You feel me? Because any they, people can say anything in the world, though. Right. You know what I mean? I'm not hating. I, 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 I'm gonna say that it took a comedic turn, BMF. You know what I mean? Nothing's gonna it just so we can say it. Nothing's gonna touch power. All right? right. Did everybody keep trying to talk about the other series? That it's some series that are good in their own right. That's my opinion. Yeah. Again, anything that's expressed in here is the sole opinion of the personalities in here. It has nothing to do with the ACPL, Allen County Public Library, nor the station WLT, uh, ninety five seven. Has nothing to do with that. My personal opinion is that most of the shows are trying to parrot what uh, Power put out there. And because it's from the same writers as that, I think the comedic effect took place when he started putting new people in there. I understood 50 mm -hmm. Cent's uh, action as far as I don't want to employ people who look like us that are not from here. That was a big move. But you can't cast certain people and think that they're going to pull that certain character off. Right. Mm -hmm. Visa Visa, Snoop Dogg as the pastor. <laughs> when, <laughs> when that episode came up. I just it just stopped being it stopped being it stopped being realistic. It stopped being it was I was comedic, a, yeah, yeah, it started taking a comedic No, that's not how it went. You can't tell me that there was a pastor in Detroit that reminded you of Snoop. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, no, that's not going. I don't like it. You but know you know, I mean? that's a hard bro, like is you know, Snoop run up on fifty, they had an event and you know when Snoop said like, Bro, I need a role on your next series. It's mm -hmm. like how you can like it's it's a few people in the world you just can't tell no. True Snoop, that. one of them. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? True that. Um, it it would have had to fit, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could have played, played somebody else right. that was more fitting yep. 
Just, I'm not trying to put him in a box. I'm not saying he can only play somebody who does that or is yeah, a gay. I'm not a gangster. But a pastor, right. though. Right. That was oh, a jump, man. Oh, my God, I said a pastor. <laughs> a though. pastor, that was a jump, bro. Right. That was like that was like a little. Then, then, then when he tried to act serious, it was like he was looking at him like, no, is you, no, you know, like, really? No, like, yeah. this is not going for me. But one more thing about before we leave BMF, I just want to say I've been dying to talk about this to the world. Say that. And all y'all here, music producer, artists, all that, right? Say that. All right, so when the show first come on, mm-hmm. like, I love the show. The scenery, how they make it, make it seem besides Snoop being the pastor. No. But the whole scenery, <laughs> it feels like Detroit. And they did a great job of transposed into the 80s when they was younger to the 90s or whatever that time was in between mm-hmm. that time the only thing that i was like so mad and i know probably everybody in the executive room was so scared to tell 50 cent is this you got a, cho- a show about detroit mm-hmm. right now detroit music is hot like you know what i'm saying it's just right. like super hot yeah. not just in the midwest but in the whole world now right why do we got 50 cent starting the show with not a new york not a detroit sound mm. it's just coming on like it's just a one of his songs yeah. it's like he they they marking it messed up right there like it should have been mm. even if he was on the song get one of them detroit rappers and if you don't want to do rap detroit you know you could have did motown or jazz mm-hmm. or something but that whole sound that they got no nah. and you would think 50 cent as a Music executive would have said, "Okay, we got a hundred rappers to pick from from right. Detroit. Let's get one of them." But no. I'm gonna be honest, I ain't even watched the show yet. You haven't watched BMF nope, yet. No, everybody even seen it, been talking about it. I ain't seen they, it yet. They, they about the lightweight kick. I you did the off same thing the, with power. Right. Not power. I did the same thing with Snowfall. So what you you about to binge watch everything? Yeah, that's what's going. Man, he a, get there. He's a producer. That's what we do. We don't watch stuff like that. I don't watch TV like that. Mm-hmm. I feel that. I feel that. I, I definitely think. Eh, what you what you think, my man? You know, what I'm saying? matter of fact, well, not to, go ahead. No, because I think you got a thought. Go ahead. I do have a thought. I mean... Are you watching it right now, right? No. Okay. Let's be, you know why? I'm with it. I'm, I'm with cooking, it. Because I'm cooking like the rest of these cats. Mm. When it comes to, if I do put something on, it's going to set me in a mood right now. Or I always check the weather right now for sure. Right. That's just, that's just how the things go. And the Rona is crazy. So... He said the Rona is crazy. For real. But other than <laughs> other than that, man, if it's, if it's not going to spark an emotion to get me creative at this point in time in my life or give me stimulation, man, I got to go. I feel that. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a word out to it. Um, I I don't have to capitalize on it or bring it back or say anything. To, just back to big. You can't have anybody saying that you smell like onions. Okay. Right. Let me just put that out there. I don't know what she said. They was in a club. She said uh, she don't know what possessed him to wear that long sleeve. Um, you know what I'm saying? She got <laughs> she got a picture with cuz and that's just it you don't you you can't have anybody saying that like out of everything they could have said uh right. he didn't want to take a picture with me uh he ain't that in the hood or whatever but to right. say hey he was musty you know Ooh. what i mean that's just I, I can't now he was saying oh yeah she she you know she lying she was mad she wanted such and such but you took a picture with her now i was looking for it in the picture she looked like Still was musty, you know what I'm saying? Right. She looked like she didn't take the picture uh, like yeah. she was cheesy. She took a picture like she was upset right. a little bit, like she was a little bit irritated. So now I'm like, yeah, that's good. <laughs> what he just did, like for real, I shouldn't even took this picture. Like she right. was like, dang, I, I thought I was coming to see Cuz, seeing him. Oh, that's him. This him smelling like that. Boom, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you can't have that. I, I don't. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, <laughs> on to our next section. And we're going to get P. Lotus on this. Um, I had a I had a young lady that was talking about this. is called Love from last night. You know what I'm saying? I had a young lady that... Um, yeah, yeah. I had a young lady that was talking about... Um, she basically said that she's from here. She doesn't stay here right now. But she's originally from here. And she had a guy, I guess, play her like she was from a certain apartment complex. I can't say that, you know what I'm saying? Cause well, we know. Yeah. But she said, yeah, he tried to play me like I was from a certain um, apartment complex. And if you didn't know, WLT 95.7 encourages and facilitates community conversations, programs, and activities that promote diversity and inclusion broadly, removing all barriers to participation. So that is the reason we can say this stuff now. The thing is, she said that, I guess they was talking for a minute and then he played her. My assumption was when she said that the guy played her was he went ghost. 
he spent her. I guess he might have, you know, spent the day or two. They went on a couple dates. He might have even, I don't know. I don't want to say he cracked it. You know what I'm saying? This is my friend. You feel what I'm saying? But if he smashed, you know, that tends to be when somebody feel like they got played. If you didn't smash, you know what I mean? Nobody got played. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Oh, he took me on a couple of dates. I know he paid for it. You know, she the type of type of vibe that he definitely paid. So if you went out on a couple free dates, then you couldn't have felt like you got played. But if you came off them goods, <laughs> Tell me. You came off them goods, you might feel like you got played. He said, played. gave up the snicker. Yeah, if you, gave, <laughs> if, you gave, if you gave that, then you might feel like you got played. Karma. So it could, could be. Could, so you tell me, I'm asking, I'm asking uh, people, hey, you could, you could, you could chime in too. Uh, what do you think it was if it was something legitimate? If Buddy really wasn't on no bogus games, what do you think it might have been that made him just spin off of Shelby? You know what I mean? She said she got to tighten up. So I know it was, it might have been that. But tell me what it might have been. Something that he couldn't, he felt like he couldn't talk to her about. Mm. Maybe something she he felt like she would be it would be embarrassing to tell talk to her about. I okay. don't know. It could maybe an uh, odor. She smell like onions. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. They just went there. We just dropped it. We just there with it. Right? Yeah. 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 You, man. Hey man. Hey hey, just, hey hey. Hey. I'm a, would you drop the bomb though? I'm gonna have to because see this the thing. Oh, she did. listen. She listened too. So she gonna be like. So I ain't do it. No, she gonna be so like, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Are you me. in my business? I'm gonna keep it honey. <laughs> <Are you? laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it honey. It yeah. wasn't me. I'm yeah. just, it I'm wasn't gonna, you see why I'm not answering. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was like, well, she gonna be looking. She's but like, you asked the question. That's the thing. I'm like, super putting you on black. It's the show, but she gonna be like, P. Lotus. Uh oh. No, no. I'm like, But um, what you think? You got any thoughts on what it might have been if he just, let's just say he really had some. Um, upstanding intentions and he just macked off. What do you think it was? He probably seen something in her that he didn't like off top. Okay. I mean, the energy of her probably could have been off for mm -hmm. him. It could be her karma. I mm -hmm. mean, it's, it's lots of verities to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very, okay. Well, I agree with that. Do y'all have anything to say? Because y'all yeah, look like It's super will. simple. What's happening? If it didn't work, it didn't work. It didn't work. Facts. Just that's, 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 that is. that's it. At least you know now. At least you know now. Okay. Cool. I, I gave her because I was now y'all just tell me y'all blast me. Y'all say, all right, you was you was a little soft on mama. You know what I'm saying? This is what I told her. Now, you know what I mean? I got a little Yeah, hey, she nice. She nice. I'm not finna sit here and play with y'all. Like she not nice. She dope. Here's the thing, this is what I said. I said maybe he might have seen that he wasn't gonna be able to maintain. Mm. Maybe he was able to come off and, and put enough dazzle in your face. That he got past there, but he was probably like, you know what? She handled her business. She don't need nothing from me. She don't need no money. She holding it down. And I don't know if I can spend her like I be spending these other average ones I be dealing with. So let me go ahead and back up, you know what I mean, and, and mac off. You feel me? Why, why, why you got to try to spend somebody in the first place? If your rap is tight, your rap is tight. True that, but the rap only goes so far, is what I'm saying. But, and, but the rap is the whole thing, though. Yeah. It's not just the rap, it's the rap. Now, see, you putting them on game. Because, mm. see, they be having their fronts up. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? On front street like mine. But if, 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 if it took you some hard-ass work to get there, right. then guess what? Right. Be proud of that. Be proud of that. I feel, that. You I feel that. You know what I'm saying? If you came, if you came from the scraps and now you... Now, now you're looking down at the mountaintop, then be proud of that. Right, right. If you're on your way up, be proud of that. Right, right, okay. And no matter what. I, I feel that. All right. I, so, I mean, so I'm not sucker ducking or, or, or playing whatever if right. I say, ah, uh, Shawty, he just probably wasn't ready for you. Right. Was I being biased or was no, I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and um, okay. one more thing just to add with that. Uh -huh. And we helping her, right? Absolutely. Okay, okay. I'm just making, I got to see what, you know. Because she good. She good, yeah. okay. but. So, I just, I'm on a man. It's, it's a lot of men in here. Yeah. So right. I just want to. And she got to realize, too, that maybe this could be, I'm just saying it's a possibility 50 50 chance. Mm -hmm. What that sounds like to me is this is a lot of times a man might have something already in place. So he might got like his main woman, but mm -hmm. he might not be feeling her. Mm -hmm. So then he starts looking or dating and seeing, but in then that one woman still got power over him. So it's kind of like. He might want to, like, go check there. her out and be with her. Right, right. I'll go further, but he's still subject to, he might got a family. He
he might got kids. Something right, right. might be pulling him back. So it's, it might don't got nothing to do with her. Mm. It's probably just his other situations. True that. You know what I'm saying? Could, you know, and, like, in, in most cases, that's what it is. Okay. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they just, you know, they try to venture off and they see, and like you said, and then when you do that, now you got like a lot of soul ties and karma and all these things take effect. Yeah, like you said, and, and some people be trapped in this stuff for years and it's crazy. Okay. Yep. Well, word out to her. Can't put her name out there, but she definitely bounced back. She just said she needed to tighten up a little bit more. You heard it from a, a, a group of uh, well-established men. Contrary to what ones may say, I believe it. You know, you got all kind of opinions. You ain't just get the one that you like. You know what I'm saying? You got some other ones. You feel me? So take heed to that. That's what we're here to do. That's love from last night. You feel me? Because, you know, her heart was there. I know it was. You know what I'm saying? But now, we're we, we going to show that we men. Because I've set this up to go from love from last night to live with the vibes, all right? In this section, you feel what I'm saying? I want y'all to give me your international pick for this week and your local pick for this week as far as the vibes go, all right? Give me the vibe. Listen, or I'm going to give you this too. If, if you involved right now, give your international pick because can't nobody get mad about the international pick. If you give your local pick and you involved, you're going to have problems. You understand me? So with that being, multiple, multiple, <laughs> I'm, I'm giving you an option. If you give the international and say, I just rather give the international vibe. Cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give two just because I introduced it. I must do it. You know what I'm right. saying? So, boom. Whoever want to start. You know what I mean? Who want to start? It can't be me. I'm going to close it. They like, ooh, yeah. it's he, like, he got like, a seed coming. He like, man. He yeah. No, I'm, okay. Shit. So, are, are, are we saying like the actual names or say their names? Give them their flowers. But you, you basically, hey, this is a disclaimer, ladies. We are just talking about what we see. This is this is this is this. We in a man cave right now. Right. You really getting privy to it right now. We, we in a man, man cave. cave right now. We don't. We ratting ourselves out. <laughs> 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 we in a man cave. So uh, international pick. Who got your eye? Who is something? It doesn't even have to be her name. Maybe you even just seen her. Hey, the one Yo Gotti video. Whatever. Oh, let me let me say my international. He pick. said, "Let me say my." <laughs> he was ready. He was like, <laughs> I, I don't know where she at, but um, ever since I seen her in that. Migos video, mm -hmm. which one? Um, Bad that? and bougie. Okay, I'm, I'm looking these up. I'm thinking it was what you know talking about. about. Okay, uh -huh. Bad. Ruby Bad. Rose. Uh -huh. Okay, Ruby what? Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose. Yeah. That's your international pick. Yeah, y'all might not. Y'all might not be hip to her. Okay, but yeah, she, cool. She yeah, nice we write these down. Hey, if you listen to this, if you didn't get to it on 95.7, you can tune in on www.weltfm.org. Ruby Rose, we looking for you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what Lime about the local? Put on at, at P. Lotus. At P. Lotus. <laughs> he said if y'all find her, let her oh, know. No, I'm just trying to get a feature, though. Just trying to get a you know feature. Whoa. Okay. There and it what is. about your local? I don't really got no local vibes. <laughs> that you really got an eye on? Um, nah, I ain't really eyeing no local vibes. Um, Local vibes. We but uh, to. but get at me, though. Like I said, P. Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's real. It's real. Yeah, it's cool. So cool. I get it. What's that? Then? All right. Decepticons. Who All is right. the Who is the international? You All don't right. have to go in that order. If you know a local vibe right now, you can say that. Then you can go to your international. Yeah, local. You know. Yeah. Circle, circle, dot, dot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep it right there. Okay. Cool. But international. International. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you. And y'all go to feel me on this. All right, we with it. It's not just one mm -hmm. international. Okay. It's like, it's like the, it's like mm. a whole group of. It's them. a group. It's, a it's pack like of probably them. like a whole like whole pack of Halle Berry. A state or something. <laughs> okay. But for some reason, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the bone structure or how they was, you know, the makeup of them. But okay. lately, I just noticed. Like Colombian women, mm -hmm. like True that. I'm like, True that. I just so happy just to like, cause you know I be looking at stuff for artists and stuff. Yeah. So I was looking like for models, <laughs> and I, I got on this page, right? And I was just was like, you know, cause usually you put in Spanish, True then that. you know, like you got Mexicans, then you know, then you got the Brazil women, which is whoo, yeah. too. But True that. I typed in, Thunder and, and now, you know, man. and you got to go through the cipher. But mm -hmm. when I typed in Colombia, out of all the other countries, I was just like, Boom. okay, I we can lose. use her. We could use her. We could, I was like, mm -hmm. before you know it, I just had, like. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah so shout okay, out to so. Colombia. Shout out to the whole nation. Yeah. Decepticons will be doing yeah. 
Probably well, a whole. What does your passport say? <laughs> my man have been over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, I am going, man. We be on tour for like a whole three months just yeah. there. Okay. <laughs> say that. Okay. Uh -oh. Columbia. Yeah, it's, it's popular. Boom. It really is. Bam. He answered both of them. What's up with you? Local vibes. You know what I mean? If you got them. Internationals. What's happening? Local vibes. I got them. Okay. That's, that's what you get on that. Okay. Boom, I got him. That's I like okay. that. Hey, he's he's a, I, got got I got him. I got him. You know what I'm saying? With his hats. Yeah. I got, yeah, I got, got him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let me brush this show. Yeah, you, you feel me? Since been you know what I'm saying? No, I ain't saying it like that. Yeah. Oh, you said it like that. Yeah, though. he said it. That, that was your statement. My goals is for dough, not for show. <laughs> I feel yeah. you, man. What you want me? No, I don't know. Oh, no, 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 hey, no, no, get snapped. Sorry. Come on, man. Come on, man. Go ahead. You trying to get me to do that. Yeah, I got to see it. International vibe. Uh, just because the way she's singing her vibe, where she got it going on, uh, lead singer for a Hiatus Co um, Coyote. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I ain't here. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm gonna let this. this you go ahead, type look, it in right now. Type get your it in. in, it in this ain't even no vain statement. I am re-listening to this episode. You like for real? To get hear you. what you said. You for Ruby? real? Gonna get your noodle pop? Though. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> come on, that Ruby. Ruby. Boom. No, he said. Wait a minute. That's me. You gonna get your noodle pop? Okay, my bad. I don't want to smoke. Uh -huh. Yeah, I forgot the name. I'm telling you, you listen, 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 listen to that. Listen to that. You gonna okay, you cool. Bam. This document. I ain't even got to write this down. I'm listening to this again. Boom. Pass it on to my man. Locals and non-local. You understand me? He got the local already. Take yeah, care. local. She knows she is. She knows right. you, that's your vibe right now. Yeah, I got your back, smart. bro. I got you. I ain't smart. Gonna yeah, smart. Yeah. You just quick on your, you quick on your feet yeah. that time. But look, I go back you. out there and get some trans five. <laughs> go ahead. Man, go ahead. That's oh. <laughs> Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor. Yeah, just, she yeah, did yeah. just get. Did she just get like sexiest woman um, yeah, on some so. magazine? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I know yeah. she did get that this year. Yeah, I seen that here picture. recently. Absolutely. She did, she did. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So boom, drum roll, because I'm about to get in whole okay. trouble. Because I'm giving the local vibe and I'm giving the international. I'm gonna get the international first. Okay. International. Is anybody hip to Ravy Loso? Mm, no. no. Mm -hmm. Ravy Loso. Listen. All right. Check it. I right, listen, she used to go with Drake. Oh, she went I with know Drake. Exactly. Yeah, you know exactly yeah. who yeah, I'm talking exactly about. She, she about. went with Drake for a month, right? Caramel skin, dimples. Yes, do you hear me? Nice. Ray Loso. I wasn't going nowhere, I was going to the bathroom. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? I didn't say I was leaving, leaving for what? I got everything here. What are you talking about? Ray Loso. I even gotta go to the picture. We're gonna go to hey, live from 95. <laughs> Look at them pictures. Y'all tune yeah. on to that. Uh -huh. You might see it. And yeah. uh okay, so on my local tip, I'm getting in trouble for this. Uh she celebrated a birthday this week. Mm. Um y'all probably know her by Yaya. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know Yaya. Yeah. 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 That's a dear friend of uh, yeah. 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 Word yeah. out to the iPhone. Yeah. Cause um she did a story and I promise I almost kissed my phone. Because yeah. she was she, she was kissing the phone. She was like blowing yeah. a kiss of the phone. You get what I'm saying? I yeah, almost kissed my Y'all just, y'all yeah. just what is known as yeah. a T Rex, an apex yeah. predator. Because I know. You know what I'm saying? You know apex, what I'm saying? top Boom. of the food chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah top of the she does. Hey, word out, live with the vibes. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> he said, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Might get in trouble. All right. Uh, last from last night. I am still on T Money. So funny. Are y'all hip to this voiceover dude that just came out here, man? T Money So Funny, his series is called If Movies Were in Memphis. When I tell you. In my hometown. Man, when I tell you, if that's your hometown, listen Memphis to me. Is, yeah, for sure. Man, listen to me. My dude named T Money So Funny. I've been watching him for like two weeks straight, binge watching him. If you want to talk about funny, bro, when I, I'm telling you the voiceover. And the thing about T Money So Funny, I'm, I'm, this is the reason I want to get on this topic. Because he got original content. Everybody always talks about that. You know, people in Fort Wayne always hating on what somebody else got going on. Right. That's never the case. You feel what I'm saying? I just don't believe that's the case. If you come with something original and you come with something that's not been done, I know a lot of people in the room right here, right now, are kind of irritated by the fact that everybody try to act like what's going on right now right. is new. Like it didn't happen. Like right. we haven't done this before. Like I haven't seen this. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like stop playing with me. You know what I mean? Right, I'm right. happy for the people that's coming up. I'm happy for the people that's developing their style and finding their craft and everything else. Mm -hmm. But let's not act like we haven't been here where the 
exposure was way smaller. You know what right, I mean? Right. The, the advancements of technology, streaming, uh, TikTok, all of these algorithms, like you was talking about, now it's done exploding and the people that was talented at one point in time when this wasn't available. Correct. Come on, man. Even the beats. Y'all hear the beats. You know what right. I'm saying? You actually got, what's her name? Um, Mulatto actually acting like that's not Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> Deep fantasy or something. With her new, right. new, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Sweet cheek daddy. It's just that you acting like that's that you never heard that. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop playing. Right. It's absolutely that. Um, what's your girl name? I, I can name drop on this because they was really like tripping. Um, Normandy for her uh -huh. uh, wild side. Uh -huh. She really was like, it's original enough that I don't feel like you don't feel like that's not Aaliyah's beat? Are you original <laughs> enough? Oh, man. Original enough. There's no such thing. It doesn't There's even no exist. That, even, that even. phrase doesn't shouldn't exist. It shouldn't exist. It, that says that, it that's, that's in a what if metaverse. Yeah, in fact, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The metaverse. <laughs> metaverse. A, a, what, a what if <laughs> a what, what if, if metaverse. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. uh it's metaverse uh, off the metaverse. You feel me? So yeah, that's um, crazy. T Money so funny. It's not just voiceovers, you know, Tony Baker, it's a lot of people that do voiceovers. Right. My man actually got the sound effects in it, and it's just the fact that they, like, kind of mad at the way that he flipped it, because he's still saying the same thing, but it's just like, if this was in Memphis, this is what it sound like. Some of my favorites is, if, if Scarface was in Memphis, no, bro, I'm trying to tell you, when I tell you, bro... <laughs> He be having me in tears. You know what I'm saying? using the Holy Trinity words, main, Joan, and Jen. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, and yeah. he flames. I would never want, if if T-Money ever got his shot and he was on Wild and Out, yeah. he's going to, what's the game that they play? That, that you're yeah. out. Oh, he's going to smoke him. It's over. He's going to smoke him. If he ever gets in that game, wow. he's going to smoke whoever wow. comes in there. You know what I'm Anybody saying? that y'all want to speak on again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. I got, I got yeah, somebody it. Somebody recently, um, um, my girl, one of my best friends, way deeper than you know, um, the kid Thompson, her mom, Mary Thompson passed. Mm. She was actually um, a karaoke DJ, okay. like at the VFW, all the, you know, little bars around town. Okay. So a lot of people in that, you know, that bar community know her. Yeah. So, and it was a blessing. It was funny, at the funeral, the funeral home people had the music going on, you know, as people walking in. Absolutely. So then all her friends, you know, they was like, she supposed to listen. She supposed to have this one song playing. She said when she die, she want this song, right? Right. So I'm looking around. I go to the funeral person. Hey, can I hook up my phone or something? Y'all got man. They brought me a like a a karaoke speaker. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you know, I'm like, oh, I got this. And the song was you couldn't even like. It wasn't on on Spotify or Apple Music. So I'm saying I figure out a way. You know, being a DJ. Uh -huh. And boom, I was like, this is crazy. I'm at her funeral, a DJ funeral, DJ in her funeral. So that was like, uh, yeah. to me, I like, yeah, it sound kind of funny, but to me, you know, as far as like honoring somebody in that way, it was like it was a night cool. honoring another night. You know, back in the days when like the nights come to each other's funerals, like it was nothing but honor. Right. So it was one of those things as far as just the passing on of that, you know, it was kind of like, man, this feel good. That's what's up, man. Um, yeah, anybody real quick want to say something else about anybody that's passed on? Yeah, I lost, a, I lost about six people in the last year okay. and a half, two years. So okay. it, was, it was a tough year for me. Okay. Um, a couple of years. Okay. And um, actually, I wanted to go back and give a shout out to my dad. Okay. One, one because uh, I reflected on him for the most part to, you know, keep myself going he passed 2015 okay but uh yeah he he, he gave me the strength and another person i'm going to give a shout out to is a um, man by the name of baja mm. um he had a tragic accident on stage right in front of me and i had to perform cpr on that man mm. um he passed the, the following day but they said i kept him alive enough to so his family could say goodbye Man. So that was um, word up to you, man. Hey, word up to you. Hey, we just look after each other on the road, man. That's what we do. We take care of each other. That's Absolutely, that's, that's real. So, so yeah. So yeah. That, that, to a shout out to his family and, uh -huh. and the crew and the stagehand union. I want to say shout out to the stagehand union. Real talk because they make every single major show on the planet work. That's period. What's up. He was seventy-two years old and was still out there getting it. 
that's that that's up. going out like a rock star. I'm that's just saying. Up. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Hey, so that's a live for the last time. We give a flowers for the people even though they're gone, still giving to them while they here. You know what I'm saying? And we're right. gonna wrap this up with the last chance to dance. You understand me? Last chance to dance. Y'all gotta go ahead and, and, and name where the people could reach y'all or what they could reach y'all on. Everybody gotta talk on this one, you know what I'm saying? So hey, whoever wanna start first, let me know something. Let's go. Let's go. Uh retro, in case we ain't know. You let them, let them know where you at? I'm on all major platforms. It's Retro Case You Ain't Know. It's one word. You can find me on IG at Retro Case You Ain't Know 101. Facebook, Retro Case You Ain't Know. Yo, yo, it's Decepticons. All major platforms. Um, it's with a A in the middle and a Z at the end. Decept Decepticons with a Z. Yeah. And, you know, just find us. Yeah. We're coming live. All major platforms. Um... You can look me up on if you want to talk to me and send me a uh, private message, uh, HDM. Yeah. I have Facebook, uh, Instagram, all that stuff, you know, the whole nine. And yeah, just catch a show, man. He try to get private messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, if they want to get, yeah. get some work, man, you ain't going to put your money on blast like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, PHE Live, man. That's how you get to him. You know what I'm saying? PHEENT.com. That's the website you get to him. Midwest Trap TV. I City Knicks. Live from last night. You can get both of them on Facebook. Y'all know what it is. WLT 95.7. Live 72.3. Power 109. This is Live from last night. Y'all been great. And we out of here, man. Yeah. That's